Hello everyone, I am Chase at Rocky Mountain 8 FMC, giving you a closer look at the Terra Evo boots coming from Form. All right, today we're giving you a closer look at the Terra Evo boot coming from Forma. Now the Terra Evo, this was built for the dual sport adventure rider looking for a boot that's gonna be a little bit better suited for playing more off-road than staying on the pavement. So if that's the kind of boot that you are looking for, this would be a great option. And the big feature about these that make it a little bit more off-road worthy is with the sole design. So it's gonna have a little bit more rigid sole, so not as much flex as some of the other boots in their lineup. And the reason for that, when you're riding off-road, when you're standing up working hard on the foot pegs, having a stiffer, more rigid sole is important. It's not gonna wear your feet out as much, so it's gonna add more comfort long-term, but also the sole design they say is gonna add some durability as well. So just something to keep in mind. If you like to play off-road, it's gonna be a great boot offering. Now, if we look at it here, first up, let's talk about sizing. So with this, I've tried it on. Fit for me, true to size, very comfortable, plenty of width in the toe box. Also, you are gonna have some padding on the inside, which I thought was a really nice touch. So I like the comfort of these. You also notice they have a couple different colorways, black and the brown, and you also do have a low version as well. So you have a couple different options there as far as what you want to choose. As far as the calf opening at the top, I'm a rider that I have pretty large calves. I feel that if I were to wear a knee brace with this boot, I would not be able to do this upper buckle. So just something to keep in mind, if you wear a knee brace, if you have larger legs, something to note, but remember it's an apparel item, which means you have a fit guarantee. So if you buy any boot at Rocky Mountain, if you don't like the sizing or the fitment, you can send it back in brand new unused condition, and we will give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. So if we talk about construction, so you can see full grain oil leather base. So I really like to look at the brown, but again, you got that black option as well. When you look at the toe box here, you're gonna have this polyurethane over the top of the toe box. It's gonna add a lot of reinforcement there, good protection. You notice when you look at the heel as well, again, you're gonna have that PU here on the heel. This boot is gonna be CE certified for impacts as well. If you look at the lateral side, what I like to see is you've got this hard plastic working your way all the way up the side. So that's gonna offer good protection for the rider. Nice big TPU shin plate here in the front. Three buckle design, at least that's gonna be on the tall version. On the low, you're gonna have a two buckle. But if you look here, I like the buckle design that they're using. So very easy to operate, the buckles are replaceable, but all you're gonna do is take your strap, slide it over, and then you're gonna snap the buckles down. So very easy to operate, even if you have a glove on. So I'll undo these real quick. So when I open this, you can see you've got that padding on the inside, antimicrobial liner on the inside. Now this gator here, that is your dry text waterproof liner. So you can see it comes up to about that third buckle. Now one thing I would point out, if you decide to go with the low version, that waterproof liner isn't going to come up as high as you get with the tall version. So it's just something to keep in mind. Do these buckles back up real quick. Now, one thing I wanna point out that I like with this boot is they have what they call their FCF system, or FCS, excuse me. So you can see it wraps around the back of the boot here. You can see you've got this pivot point here on the lateral side, and then it wraps up and around to the medial side. You've got that pivot point here. So what this is designed to do is really just offer more lateral support for the rider's ankle. And again, that's taking a bite out of the off-road world and putting it into an adventure boot. But I do wanna call out here something that I noticed when I put these on, I walked around in them, like I mentioned, very comfortable. However, this pivot point here on the lateral medial side, it really didn't pivot or move all that much. So I really wouldn't call it a true pivot or a true hinge system, but it is gonna offer a little bit more lateral stability for the rider's ankle. If you've ever worn the former Terra or if you're familiar with that boot, just know it's gonna be similar, but this FCS is gonna offer a little bit more stability than you're gonna get with the former Terra. So the last thing we'll point out, if you look at the sole here, again, more of a rigid sole design. And yes, it is more rigid than the other boots. Again, that's gonna help you if you're riding, standing up on the foot pegs, you're working hard, it's gonna offer protection for the rider's feet. You are gonna have a steel shank that comes zip. Again, that's gonna to add to the rigidity of the sole. That traditional stitch on sole, the compound that they're using is an anti-slip compound. You can see more of that adventure style when it comes to the lug design. So if you are off the bike, it's gonna offer some added grip. But again, they say that this is gonna be a more durable sole than some of the other boots in their lineup. Last thing, additional steel toe caps. If you wanna add these on the boot, you can. They're gonna come off, but they include the screws for these. So these are just gonna offer some protection again for the front of the boot. So if you wanna protect the toe, also a bonus to these, and this is really something I see in a lot more in the off-road market, is that these steel toe caps, you can see with this traditional stitched on sole, you're gonna have multiple layers there. So those steel caps actually do aid in preventing these layers here from coming unglued or delaminating. So you have that option there. If you wanna run it, you can. If you don't want to, not a big deal. You can just leave it off. 
Now, another nice thing about these boots is that Forma does have a 12 month manufacturer warranty. So if you make that investment, just gonna give you a little extra peace of mind. And that is it. That is the Terra Evo boot coming from Forma. Again, for you dual sport adventure riders, maybe you wanna spend some time enduro riding. Well, this would be a great option. If you guys have any other questions or comments about these, leave those below, we'll get your questions answered. If you have a set of adventure boots from Forma, well, we'd love to hear your thoughts on those. To pick up your next set, it is very simple. Just click on the link or head over to rockymountainetvmc.com. Orders over $75 ship free. If you guys like this product spotlight, we got a lot more just like it, including buyer's guides for adventure riding. So make sure you subscribe. Do not miss out and check those out. I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain. We'll see you on the trails.